Are you excited about your new car? Um, I have big finish. Okay, we are on the way to pick up under the project. This is my neighbor, Tao, Tao, say hi. Hi guys. Tao, I got you in. It's not just the project. The time is getting more perfect. But then again, the time is never be perfect. I've been missing a sports car till we get next in with the one. I used to have a 1999 BMW M Group. He had your ass 52 to help you throw your whole battery engine. Throw your battery car. Play to the power. GPS. No, do it with power. So, about seven years you've been without a sports car. Yeah. After I saw the M Group, I bought the Land Cruiser. Yep. No, it's a simple Land Cruiser. You have the Toyota pickup, yeah. right? Yeah. And the Silverado. The Silverado. Yeah, yeah. Right? But, Right. 08 Turbo. But I don't think it's as much as fun as this one. This one's uh mid-engine, it's very lightweight, it's rear-wheel drive, it's a manual, it's all the all all the fun things that you want in a and it has just just the right amount of power for the streets that we drive around us. You know, these Pennsylvania roads, you know, two to three hundred horsepower, perfect for this. Okay, uh, we're going. I contacted a uh, local mechanic around here who I've used and I highly recommend. I emailed them, right? Yeah. And I said, well, hey, my, my friend Corey is looking for a particular vehicle. Tom emailed me right back and said, you know, Kevin is selling that exact vehicle. He has one of those that he wants to sell, right? And so I put you in contact with those guys. I have been looking for a car for maybe you have I did buy some cars that I like that were all over the country. However, all you're doing was to talk to you. You told me I think it was exactly what I was looking for. You sort of also had some parameters of what you, the kind of car that you wanted, right? Like you didn't want a show car or a really low mileage car or a, you know, a concourse level car. You wanted, you know, a good driver, something something that you could probably work on and do some projects with, right? Yeah, exactly. I like the really low mileage cars that got shipping. That might look good. Fine, as soon as you buy them, you have to put all the work at the room. Ten cars have been sealed for a couple of years. But the perfect are only given five years to buy what we want. I am pretty much buying the car for what we want. What did he put into it? The perfect owner mm -hmm. um, had the car service when you start my bells and bells have bells. Now you do action, but in so the action that the car now has 65,000 miles on it. Right, that's right. The car has 95,000 that have been in the new clothes. Clutch, yeah. That we're supposed to find the tag that I can't remember off the top of my head right now. That we're done to the car within the past. Seven years when we went to look at the car over the summer. We worked at in the equipment where even though the car had a new time about and Patty's had a belt put in 
have you been eating new ones? Because the God had been singing for so long. And there were some things. But the God that we were working in the power is that we were broken. Right. Um, the old time with the, uh, was the word game. Um, right. That was, um, well, he knows how to do this. The God had new time on this. The guy that knows to spawn God tags. Right, that's a good choice. Yeah, my brother right. runs those on his box. I had the all-season version of those tires, and I wasn't that impressed. The car had um, replica wheels on it, and I uh, found I think about uh, racing wheels. The I haven't even seen the wheels. Oh, yeah. That are gonna go on the car yet? So I guess that's gonna be a surprise for me. I was uh, bound to buy all sixteen tires. Right. That was at the continental all sixteen tires. Right. But that was like <laughs> we only going for one, two, or three months. That is the year. Yeah. He said you might want to buy some of tires. It is. It's a pretty big difference in the the those two tires that um, that I had first first-hand experience with so I think you made the right choice most of these summer tires they don't work so well below I think 40 degrees Fahrenheit so they end up being like very hard plastic when you drive with summer tires and it's you know freezing or below freezing weather uh, they just really they, they don't hook up very well on the pavement so I mean, if you're just driving normal speeds you're probably fine. The only time I ever really notice it is when you really want to go hard around the turns and that's when the tires are going to sort of give out. But what about in the straight line? In the straight line, yeah, you're fine. Oh, the yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, plus, you know, they warm up a little bit as you're driving, but, you know, I wouldn't want to get stuck in a snowstorm or a freezing rainstorm with summer tires. Right. That's, uh, that's a little dangerous. The tire compound might have a tendency to crack more if you if you do drive them in the winter time in very cold weather so you kind of have to watch out for that but other than that shouldn't be a problem speaking of snow i think we're supposed to get snow tomorrow i know think that yeah. and it's supposed to go down to earth and yeah tomorrow. yeah you have shorts on today yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> I love the summers. Yeah. I love hot weather. You don't like the snow at all? Um, it, it, not the summers, the snow, the other the look, it's the politics. <laughs> it's all the crap that I put on the walls. Yeah. The, it makes me sick thinking about it. The only cool thing about the cars is that they don't really want our party to get for us. That's the beauty of it, and unless there was some sort of metal repair that wasn't done right, are you going to keep those wheels? The replica wheels. Yes, the replica wheels. I think what I'm going to do is we finish them. Oh, okay. And that got me good practice. So we finish the wheels, they want to go out now. That's good. So I'm hoping that I can we finish them and can them to put your bag, they are spent on the wheels. Yeah. The wheels are on the car now. And another thing you can use those replica wheels for is if you want to mount snow tires on right. them. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, we're almost there. I'm excited. Yeah, the captain Donner is super cool. He's the guy that got it with the support. Right. I think he knows also that he's selling this car to someone who's actually going to want to take care of it. I would say it's a classic car now, right? And it's a, it's a sign of, of the time and the era that it was created in. You know, hopefully you'll be able to keep it running for a long time and if you eventually decide to sell it, hopefully you sell it to somebody who also decides to take care of it for a right. long time. It took me like three years ago. I was going to pay a little bit of time to do the cars. But after I lose more by him, I realized it's not how I could have really special cars. This car definitely has its place in history. So, um... 
I'm excited for you. Yeah. We're here. Yeah. I'm impressed with your hearing. Everything can happen to some fab above is what the Right. Dude, the headlights work? <laughs>